Baby, where are you going? To Andres. I'll be back soon. Why so late? What happened? Nothing. Don't worry. Excuse me. I'm in a hurry. What's going on with you? What did I do wrong? Come in. Do you want to tell me something? Yes, Andri. <clears throat> I want to postpone the wedding. Tea, maybe? Andri, did you hear me? Yes, I did. Do you want some tea? No, thank you. I'll have a cup. Why? What's wrong? Believe me, Andre, I don't want to hurt you. Try to understand. Sometimes I feel like everything is fine, but then I realize it's not. I'm still not sure about all of this. Not sure about what? My love for you? Or your feelings for me? It's hard to say. Maybe both. <laughs> oh, be careful. You've changed your mind. Is it final? Maybe you and I loved each other, but I don't remember it. When I listen to my heart, I feel gratitude and respect. But it, it isn't love, and I, I can't marry without love. Stop. Yana. Darling, I love you. Do you hear me? I love you as I've never loved anyone before. And I will do anything to win your love back. I'm sorry. Maybe I just don't deserve your love after all. If you really want us to be together, you should wait until I get my memory back. Maybe my love will come back too. I'm sorry. I told my mom I'd be back. Yana, yeah, wait. Please don't go. Don't leave me. Andri. I didn't mean I was going to leave you, not at all. You were like family to me. I'm just asking you to give me some time. I'm sorry. I know if he loves me as Yana, or it's just pretending and in fact knows that I'm actually Anna. I'll find out eventually.
Yana, darling. Mom. You're finally here. Mm. Mom. I said I'd be back. You shouldn't have waited. How couldn't I? I was worried. You weren't yourself when you went to Andri. Mom, enough. I'm home and I'm fine. Go get some rest. I'm tired too. I'm going to bed. I'll go. But first, tell me what the both of you were talking about. Perhaps the wedding? Maybe you need some help. No, I don't. Andri and I decided to postpone it. What? I hope that after this long-awaited wedding that Yana will calm down and finally be happy. Almost as happy as I am. Are you really happy with me? <laughs> Very much so. Dennis, you're my husband, and I'm happy with you. But... The only thing is... What is it? It's true, up until the moment we start fighting. Believe it or not, I think so too. So in the future... Let's try to avoid fighting. Today, we are going to declare a moratorium on fighting all over the world. Now and forever. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. You know, I never believed in true love before I met you. Let's just talk about it tomorrow. I'm just really tired right now. Wait up. Did the two of you have a fight? No. We didn't cancel the wedding. We just pushed it back. I see. So you did fight. Yana, yeah, listen. People are always nervous before the wedding. They are... Always getting cold feet, but that's just not enough of a reason to cancel the wedding. Or nobody would ever get married. You just need to calm down. Mom, listen to me. We didn't fight. It was our mutual decision. Your mutual decision? Did you think about me? I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt anyone. I... Just needed to do it. Why? Can you explain why? You can't. Okay. Tell me, what am I supposed to do with all the wedding invitations? What do I tell the Dobrovolskis? Mom, I can handle it. <laughs> She'll handle it. Oh, God. What a disgrace. Yana. Are you back to your old ways? Mom. What happened? Why are you shouting? It's okay. There will be no wedding. The wedding is canceled. What do you mean the wedding is canceled? Yana, what happened? Listen to me. We decided to put it on hold. They just made a decision to cancel their wedding. Okay. Whose idea was it? Tell me the truth. Was it yours or Andre's? It was their mutual decision. Uh-huh. I'll go to Andre's tomorrow morning and uh, settle it. You're not going anywhere. I am, I am. There's no need to do that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt anyone. But this is my business, and no one has the right to intrude. Your business, you said. Is that it? What about my feelings, though? Huh? Hey, leave her alone. If Yana doesn't want to marry Andre, we shouldn't make her. Yana, listen. We are your family, you know. We just want to know... What really happened between you? It's up to you whether you want to tell us or not. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, but not right now. I'm very, very tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Oh, my God. Olya, calm down. Ah. <sighs> So sophisticated, so tasteful.
Maybe you'll look very stunning. I would fall in love with you if I weren't already desperately in love. <sighs> what a sophisticated compliment. If you're ready, let's go. Beauty can save the world, but it won't do your job for you. I was cleaning your coat and this fell out. Is it for me? Uh, it's... Yanis. Yanas. And why do you have her pin? Oh, she, um, left it at my office when she brought the wedding invitations. And I forgot to return it. Why did you bring it home instead of leaving it at the office? Right, I should have left it there. I'll return it. Here. I'll do it myself. I found it and will give it back. <laughs> I won't. Give it back. No, I won't. I don't want it to end up like what happened to Yana's ring. Give it. Come on. Ah, uh, Dennis, what are you doing? It hurts. <laughs> you are a liar. Olya, I don't understand you. Why are you so gloomy? Everybody is alive and well. And the wedding was postponed, not cancelled. Wait, what's with the wedding? Did I miss something? We forgot to update you, sorry. I'm not worried about Yana postponing the wedding. I just don't want her old, unruly attitude to resurface back again. Come on. I don't even want to consider that. Anybody can see how much she's changed after the accident. Yes. Yesterday she pulled a trick, but let her sleep on it and everything will be okay. Good morning, everyone. Wow. Morning, baby. Yana, why? Why are you dressed like this? Aren't you going to work? Why? Is it a holiday? No, I'm going. But you never once dressed like this after the accident. <laughs> Don't I look good? No, it's just that it's a bit... A bit... vulgar? I like it, though. Men will be smitten with her. Thank you, Zoriana. I wouldn't mind that. <clears throat> I'll catch you up tonight. I'll skip breakfast. I'm going to work. Bye. Bye, baby. So? What do you think now? I only have one theory. Something happened to Yana after she fell on the stairs. She just needs to hit her head again and she'll be back again. What are you saying? I can't listen to this. You asked me about it, didn't you? I don't want to sit here with you. Nice to see you guys. Hi. Nice to see you too. Yana, are you going to work? Where else? I need to get the clothes ready for the shoot. Excuse me for barging in like this, but you probably understand why I'm here. It's not hard to guess. Then please explain. Yana said you two had made a decision, but she didn't explain the reasons. Mm -hmm. Olya Valentinovna, I can understand you're worried. Andrei, did you have a fight and decided to break up? Maybe Anna doesn't want to get married. Mm. 
Or is it you who wanted to put the wedding on hold? Oh. Uh. How dare you? What do you mean? Do you see yourself in the mirror? How could you come to the office wearing something like this? I don't understand why you're so worried. Is it something unprecedented? Did you forget who I am? So try to remember. I'm a party girl. I like fancy clothes. And I want to hook up with a rich bachelor. That was before. Now... I'm glad you remember it so well, really. Your sister wants to be herself, remembering her youth. What's wrong about that? Hmm? Are you dumb or just pretending? You must have hit your head really bad to be like this. <clears throat> I'm your sister and we work at this channel together. Your attitude reflects on me and my reputation, not to mention Dennis's. Stop overreacting. I won't spoil your reputation. Who cares about your lowly sister? Everybody looks at you. You are the CEO's wife and a TV star. You're the one who should watch herself, not me. Excuse me, I have work to do. What's going on with her? I don't understand. <sighs> don't be surprised, Jana, dear. This is just the beginning. The real surprise still lies ahead. <laughs> is that really you? Can you believe it? <laughs> Do you like it? Me? Super Hollywood's got nothing on you. Thanks, that's thoughtful. It's really cool and all, but why the sudden change? Has my girlfriend finally recalled how fantastic she used to be? Maybe. Or maybe I just wanted to revamp. Opinions differ, though. My sister? She doesn't like it. Well, of course she won't. Other women never like beautiful girls, after all. Well... Just go get ready for guys going crazy about you again. I've recently... Joined a new project at the studio. I want to make enough money to buy a family home. I'm sorry I didn't give you more of a warning before this happened. The proposal came just out of the blue and I decided on the spot. Well, that stuff happens. However, the date was already set and uh, the invitation sent out. Maybe... You should get married now. A young family can live in a small apartment easily. Then when you have a chance, you can buy a much bigger house. You insisted on this marriage. My offer to help is still on the table, of course. Thank you, Olya Valentinovna. Thank you, but I have to deal with it myself. It's a part-time job. I'll be working almost around the clock. I simply won't have time. I won't be able to give my attention to my family. We couldn't even go on a honeymoon, even for a few days. I myself didn't go on a honeymoon either, and yet... Olya Valentinovna. Do you want your daughter to be happy with her life? <laughs> because I do. But you can't build a family by going through coercion. Everybody will just have to wait. Yana and I discussed the situation and decided that this would be better for everyone. Oh, well, thank God it's not because of Yana's whim. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything strange? About Yana lately, or something? Did she hurt you in some way or another? No, nothing like that. Everything was normal. 
Thank you. You've reassured me. I'll let you go back to work. I'll be going now, too. Don't worry, Olya Valentinovna. The wedding isn't really cancelled. It's just postponed to another time. Okay, okay. I... I understand. Bye, Andrei. Goodbye. Lying again? I am. Well, there's no point agonizing over it. Time to go to work. Hi. Hi. Yana. Sorry. I didn't see you. I didn't see you either, and uh, I didn't recognize you. Do I look different? No. You look fine. Glamorous. And attractive. I even felt you were... Like the old Yana, you mean? <laughs> yes, maybe. Can we go to a cafe for a while to talk about something? I need to tell you something important. Okay. I'll get the suits to the studio first. Fortunately, no matter how much you change your fashion style, you will never truly become Yana. Anna. It appears it was Andrei's idea to postpone the wedding. Oh, I see now. Now I understand why Yana didn't want to talk about it. How could he hurt her like this? I had a better opinion of Andrei. Liuba, maybe he can't get married right now. Maybe he has his reasons. Anyway, Andrei is a decent man. Did he give an explanation? He said he was very busy with work. He joined some new project to make money for a nicer house. See? He wants to buy a nice house. Is your Andrei living in the street? If he is so caring, he should have warned us and apologized. No, Yana will find someone better, you'll see. Andre isn't going anywhere. Instead of looking for a new match for Yana, you... should think about your own wedding. Mm-hmm. If you are so smart, Zoriana, find me a decent man. It seems I can only find myself an idiot. You know, I was looking up a dating site. There aren't many guys of my age, but I think there was one that I saw that was good for you, Liu, but you should try it. A respectable man, college degree, wants to start a family. On a dating site, one can see that they are an academic, and their only vice is their love for marshmallows. Not everyone is a liar like you. Zoriana, send me a link to his profile. I don't want to be an old maiden because of some kalushni. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yana! You wanted to see me? Uh, yes. The last time I saw you looking like this was before the accident. I wonder if Andre likes this unusual fashion of yours. I suppose so. Not that it really matters. Uh, anyway. I came to ask for your advice. I don't know what to, uh, give you as a wedding present. Maybe you want something useful that you both would perhaps like. Maybe some money for a trip or something similar to that. What do you think? It's good that you came to ask me and all. But you don't need to buy us anything because there will be no wedding. Uh, what do you mean by that? We just decided to put it on hold, postpone it for a while. That's so... Uh... Can I ask you why that is? Maybe you guys need some help with something. Just no, tell me. No, thank you for the thought, though. Excuse me. I have to run. People are waiting.
I'm sorry. No offense, but... I have to ask, why are you dressed like this? Do you also think I'm tainting your reputation with my style? My sister thinks I'm a disgrace. You don't have to answer. No, I'll tell you. I did it on purpose in the hope that it would help me to recall who I used to be. But this isn't why you called me here, is it? Your mother was here this morning. Can you guess why? What did you tell her? That... It was my idea to postpone the wedding. That I took a project upon myself to make money for a new house. You drew the fire upon yourself, thank you. Yana. Why don't you come back and marry me as you were supposed to? I'm sorry. It was my decision. Believe me, it wasn't easy for me to... Shh. I believe you. I have no other option. The last question. If I wait for as long as it takes, will you come back to me? I believe that will happen. But first I have to come back to myself. I want you to know that I will always be here for you. You know you can count on me. I know. Yana. Why did you send my picture to this guy? It's an open dating site. It's full of crooks. Maybe he's a bum or something. Mm. Liu, but he's neither a bum nor a psycho. And definitely not a crook. That's why I gave him your number. My number? Mm-hmm. Why should we wait? I just wanted to tease Petro. What the hell should I do now? You need to meet with him. He said he worked at the bank. If he lied, you'll see it at once and you can just dump him and come home. Mm -hmm. An unfamiliar number is calling. It must be him. What do I tell him? Come on, answer him. Hello? Hello? Is this Luba? My name is Anatoly. I'm Anatoly Romanovich Pirkalo. Can you talk right now? Yes, I can. Nice to meet you. My dad's name was Roman, too. I'm Lyuba Romanivna Matvienko. I see. We have a lot in common. I wanted to say that I really like you. You have sincere eyes and nice hair. Assuming you look the same in the picture. Yes, I look the same, except maybe for my hairstyle. Good. Surprise me. I work at a bank as the head of a district branch with regular income. Lyuba. I mean Lyubov Romanivna. Why are we talking over the phone? I'd like for us to meet in person. I'd like to ask you out for dinner, do you mind? No. Then I'll see you over the weekend. I'll make dinner reservations and... I'll call you, just please don't be late. We bankers like punctuality. As they say, you take it out, you return it on time. Okay, I'll return. I mean, I'll be there on time. I'll see you then. What did he say? Well, he asked me to dinner on either Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> His patronymic is also Romanovich. Cool. Liuba. You're going on a romantic date. What should I wear? Cut! Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot for coming to the show. 
It was an interesting show today. <laughs> Congratulations, the host was fantastic as always. Thank you, Miss Producer. Can I get changed? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see that the editor cares so much about the director, but Yana might get jealous. Carolina, if you don't have any real questions for me, I'd better go. No questions. Everything was perfect. Cool. All right, I'll be seeing you on air. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Did I say something wrong? Andre and Yana? have canceled their wedding. They what? Uh, how did you know? Yana told me about it. <sighs> well, then my joke wasn't really appropriate. <sighs> I should probably apologize now. Hmm. You're virtually glued to your laptop. What's so interesting? Do you really care? Considering your new image, I do. I wouldn't be surprised if you were looking for a tattoo salon for some idiotic new tattoo. Mm, good idea. How about one on my chest saying, I'll never forget my sister? Do it on your forehead. Anyway, tell everyone I said hi. Goodbye. I will. Andri. Yes? I'd like to apologize. I didn't know that your wedding was called off. Oh. Rumors are traveling at light speed here. Maybe faster. I... I hope this... wasn't a permanent decision. Thank you for truly caring, but first, we didn't cancel the wedding. We just postponed it. Second, Yana and I are fine. We're just going through a hard period, but we'll get through it together. Oh, that's good. I hope the wedding invitations are still valid. Of course it still is. Moreover, you'll receive an additional notification, as they say. Working? What is with today? Everyone wants to know what I'm doing. Sorry, no need to answer. I just wanted to suggest dinner. Andri, I'm sorry. I just need to finish my marketing tests first. So I can't have dinner with you, okay? Whatever. I'll go. My battery's almost dead, and I'm pretty sure I left the charger at home. I really did. What am I gonna do now? Let's see. You should email me the files, go upstairs to my editing room with my laptop, and finish it there. Thank you, Andri. I'll email it and be right there. May I? Come in. Did I wake you up? I wasn't just lying down to get some rest. Katerina even even asked me to go see you. Are you feeling okay? I've had a headache since morning and now it just got worse. Maybe it's high blood pressure. <laughs> no, I believe it's my migraine. It so happens that I have something to ask of you. I promised to bring some stuff to the orphanage today. Can you go in my stead? It's not far, you know. But you'd have to go right now. Sure, of course I can. Maybe I should pick up some medicine for you at the drugstore? No, thank you, Anna. No need for that. I've already taken my medicine. 
I could ask Carolina, but I thought... The kids saw you on TV. They might like it. I'd like it too. I'll go. But you get more rest. Thank you. Hello? Uh, just a minute. Katerina Ivanovna, this is for you. Olya Valentinovna. Uh, she's here now. Yes? Katerina Ivanovna. Good afternoon. Sorry for calling you. But I wanted to inform you that Yana's and Andri's wedding has been postponed for now, but not canceled. For some serious reasons. Yeah, but after all, it's the kids' business. And so I stay out of it. Oh, I can feel you're worried. But <laughs> you're right. We should let the kids settle it amongst themselves. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Mm hmm. Yana's mom, Olya Valentinivna, called me. Yana's and Andri's wedding was put on hold. Why? Hmm, she didn't say what it was about. She just said it was something serious, but I didn't think I should insist. It's no news for me. Carolina, how did you know? Marina told me, and later Andri confirmed it. I don't know the reason. Will this day ever end? Excuse me. I have to go. I'm so glad that I finished it today. I just need to put some finishing touches. Good for you. Your laptop is really nice. It's faster than mine, and it can last longer without charging. Let me buy you a new one. No, not yet. Let me pass the test and get my certificate. Then I can think about a new one. I want to be practical right now. Lesha? Hi. Hello. Are you working hey. late too? I always stay late and bring a pile of reports home with me. That's how I work. How's your online course? So far, so good. I just finished my test paper on marketing today. How's that? <laughs> it's really great to hear. To tell you the truth, I can't wait until you graduate. We are in desperate need of an extra pair of hands. Oh, yes, I'm ready. I can't wait. Well, shall we? We shall. <laughs> what a nice drawing. Are these singers? Hmm. <laughs> and this is a TV host? It's you. You're my favorite host of all. Can I perhaps have your autograph? <laughs> of course you can. Thank you. What's your name? Sophia or Sofika. Hmm. To Sofia? From Anna. How long have you been here? I don't think I saw you here last time. I lived here until I was ten and then I got adopted. Isn't it wonderful? Not at all. That family didn't really want me. I was better off here. And why is that? Do you really want to know? Of course, tell me. My adoptive parents took me home, and it was cool at first. They would buy me presents, nice clothes, and even take me to the movies. Until they had a baby of their own, a boy. Since then, I became a nobody for them, like hired help. Hired help? Do they hurt you? They keep nagging at me. Don't stand here, don't stand there. Don't put that thing here. I was living like a hired help. I wanted to be a TV host, like you. But my father said he wouldn't let me go to the city. They want me to stay at the farm so that I could tend to their cattle. But I can't live like that anymore. I can't. 
Yes, that's horrible. So I ran away. And I came here. Auntie Luda said I could stay the night. But tomorrow she has to send me home already. How can I go home if nobody loves me there? And nobody wants me there. Here! Here, now you're gonna get it! Don't hit me! Mom, Mom! Yana, what are you doing? What if I hit you? You should hit her! She's the one who started it! You're always on her side! Only your Anna is always a good girl! She's a snake! A frog! Don't lie to me! You don't love me! You don't! I hate you! I hate you all! Sometimes I don't know what to do with Yana anymore. Yes, she's a real problem. She is a bad student. I keep being called to the principal's office. She fights with everybody at home, too. Oh, Luba, how, how can she and Anna grow up in the same house and grow up so differently? Maybe it's because one of them is your own daughter and the other isn't. I know. Why don't we send Yana to an orphanage to get some sense into her? What are you talking about? Is she a bag to be put there? Like a bag in a locker? <laughs> Relax, I was just pulling your leg. So that's how it is. I'm not her real daughter. That's why everyone loves the stupid Anna. And nobody in the family cares about me. <sighs> know this. I really hate you, Anna. And I always will. Don't give up on your dream. You will become a TV host, I promise. Okay? But... For now, you have to go back to your parents. You have to graduate from school. Here. This is my calling card. My number's on it. Call me when you need me anytime. I'll help you, I promise. Okay? Hang in there. You stole the most precious thing from me, Anna. My mother's love. You have no idea how hard it was for me to live in your shadow my whole life. You deserve to be where you are now. You're going to live in my shadow. And they'll make sure you stay there.